So 20 minutes, so hardly welcome to our 20 minutes with four people. We start very uh, rough and uh, I hope uh, we will give you uh, very rough information about Karlsruhe and the model region in automotive driving. As a commissioner of, for economic development and the coordinator of a smart city initiative here in Karlsruhe related to the business models, I'm very glad to have three uh, partners here on the stage and uh, I think they are relevant and very important for the new mobi mobility models here in Karlsruhe and the technology regions. We start with Professor Zöllner, Research uh, Center for Information Technology, FZI. And my first question, the Karlsruhe technology region has been selected to become a model region here in Germany for this topic of automotive driving. Your institute is a playing, I think, a very leading role in the execution of this model region. So could you briefly describe the vision of this uh, project, the partners involved, so it's a high vision here, and all the stakeholders, and perhaps the effects of the smarter city Karlsruhe or an innovative technology region Karlsruhe? Yes. Um, so we already saw some very impressive um, uh, photos from uh, the history. Um, since that time, a lot of things happened here in Karlsruhe. So um, we have to know that we have here very strong research in terms of autonomous driving, e-mobility. Uh, we are here the region rated as um, top four, I guess, of IT. So. Here, two worlds come together, IT and automotive, for instance, or mobility. Um, with this background, we started um, some, some bigger projects. One of these projects is the so-called profile region mobility systems, where all the research institutions here in Karlsruhe come together um, to develop, of course, new technology for autonomous driving, for e-mobility, for other mobility systems. This is the one project, and the other one is um, based on the, on the big um, industry also and uh, research here in Baden-Württemberg. We thought about what is the future of uh, autonomous driving, what, ha what do we have to do in the future to bring this on the street. And the idea was born to create test regions for autonomous driving. Um, there was a small competition here in Baden-Württemberg. We were selected as, as winner because we had the bet best concept. Um, what does that mean? Um, we're going to change in the next 12 to 18 months, Karlsruhe a little bit. We're going to equip the environment with sensors, with new communication technologies, um, in order to perform some measurement of real-time real uh, track, tr or perform the tracking of the traffic, uh, to communicate with cars, um, set up um, strong IT backend where a lot of computation can be done in order to support the testing, the development of autonomous cars. And we're thinking not only in terms of autonomous cars for the individual mobility, but for different applications like for public transportation. We're thinking about autonomous buses. We already saw in um, the last weeks and days some very impressive uh, demonstrations like in Amsterdam where Karlsruhe contributed. Um, and uh, we think about utility cars, um, other mobility concepts, and also mobility apps supporting uh, mobility, uh, or IT systems supporting mobility based on autonomous cars. So this will happen in Karlsruhe. We plan to start in 12 months with the first test runs in the urban part of Karlsruhe, but also in the outer part. Partners here are the research institutes, of course, the city of Karlsruhe, because we need a lot of support from the city. Um, the city of Bruchsal and also the city of Heilbronn, and also the, the um, transport company, the local transport company, uh, VBK, here in Karlsruhe, which is supporting this project. And at least uh, some of uh, very prominent uh, companies. Uh, yes. Uh, so this, these are the partners uh, concerned yeah. with uh, with uh, with setting up the the, the region. Uh, we have more than sixty companies supporting by technology um, this this um, 
test field, but also um, they expressed their intention to test during the next five years different applications of autonomous mobility. Okay. So coming from that part, uh, uh, the, the participation of industry, coming to the automotive engineering network, um, I'm very glad to have here on stage uh, Mr. Epple. He's the chairman of the board of the automotive engineering network. Heartly welcome. The AEN, the automotive engineering network, has been reorganized with strong partners from industry, entrepreneurs, I think, uh, industry experts, and many other very well-known and reputed people. So, the IAN focuses on services and new models, business models. Um, please describe the new uh, positioning of an automotive engineering network, referring even to uh, projects like the Automotive Thriving. Okay, thank you. Um, yes. Um, Let's start to look at the innovation process. So we start with the fundamental uh, research and with applied research that you're doing mainly. And then comes up the innovation process in deeper parts. So let's say we have uh, this um, visibility study, we have a prototype, we have the launching of a pro project like you in 1918, uh, 2018. So maybe, maybe this is a big point for you. Uh, and then we have the growth. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of innovations die between applied studies and uh, the innovation part, this, uh, the uh, introduction of the product. This is what we calling the valley of death. So what we want to do is to overcome this valley of death. So, and we want to build up a bridge between these steps. So what do you think? It's Nice story, oh, how do you measure this, how do you organize this? Okay, what we want to do is, we go deeply to all the people who are in our area. Let's say we're looking, what can the research departments do, what can they do better than others? Or we do going to the companies and say, what are the competencies of these companies? And what we are interested in is not the 2030 vision, all cars are driving autonomous. This is not what we're searching for. What we're searching for is, what can we do 2017? Which small step that we can do in next year? So and we, we're searching people, companies, research departments, entrepreneurs, which develop a roadmap for autonomous driving in our region, this small step, which the people can see, this is the change from Karlsruhe. Okay, thank you. So uh, third, but last not least, <laughs> here in, on stage, Mr. Lattegan. We talk about involvement of um, entrepreneurs. We talked about uh, involvement of uh, the real big industry companies, but we talk even uh, in the involvement in such projects of uh, young entrepreneurs or young companies. So Mr. Latigan is um, founder uh, of um, entrepreneur and founder of the company Alt uh, Atlatec. So we learn together all today on stage uh, uh, something about what is an idea. Everything works now on that. My question, innovation and visibility are the core topics now of the new, new uh, festival, Code N. Could you share with us your idea as an innovative, as a young company, as an entrepreneur, and please tell us something about your involvement in the project, in this model, in this pilot mo uh, uh, project of Karlsruhe and the technology region. Okay, so um, I'm um, Managing Director of Atlatec, and um, to explain what we do, I can uh, tell a little bit of a story. So I think that a couple of years back that um, a new driver assistance systems kind of uh, sneaked into our vehicles, mostly unnoticed, I would say. So first lane departure warning systems or um, adaptive cruise control um, reached the market mostly unnoticed. I mean, few people having those cars were probably pretty excited about it, but the masses didn't really care about it too much, I'd say. 
And uh, that's exactly the time where I started working at KIT and I was involved with some safe driving car projects and back at that day, it's not too long ago, just a couple of years back, maybe seven or so, um, just, you know, friends of mine uh, keep asking me, uh, so how are, do your remote controlled cars, what's new with those? And I kept telling them, they are not remote controls, they are safe driving, and they didn't know the difference really. And nowadays, just a couple of years later, the mass um, media coverage with uh, news of safe driving cars is Every day you, ha you hear news and nobody's making that you know, mistake anymore and everybody knows about it. So it looks like uh, we will see some safe driving cars on the street in the near future and that's pretty certain that this will happen. So I think uh, German industry and, and worldwide industry is doing a really great job of pushing that technology forward. So I think we can be very excited about this. So at first it looks really, really great and, and all problems solved almost. But a few challenges of course remain and one is that once the system gets more and more complex, and undoubtedly a self-driving car is an extremely complex system, so many different subsystems working in interactions and whatnot, need to be tested very thoroughly. So back in the days, it was sufficient to drive, let's say, 100,000 kilometers with a prototype to see if everything is working. But that's nothing by today's standards, so you need more and more and more testing kilometers. And this is really a challenge. I mean, how do you want to do this, especially if you have a start of production a few years from now? I mean, very difficult to do, and we as Atlatech um, are, um, well, we want to contribute to that problem and, and offer one solution. Of course, we cannot solve all the problems at once, but we can just be a small piece to this bigger puzzle, but we developed a sensor box, which you can very easily attach to your car and then record data of the environment, which you can then thereafter use to validate and test those self-driving cars. So we develop testing solutions for self-driving cars. That's what we do. And this fits in really nicely with this test region because uh, once you have that 3D model of the environment, which you can then create very easily with our box and our software that we create, you can also use this three-dimensional representation to derive very highly precise map data from that. So there's also large uh, map vendors which, which do these kind of things like uh, TomTom and here and others. But with our system, you're very flexible. You can create those maps all yourself. And that fits in very nicely with the test region. So because self-driving cars, at least all those uh, projects that I have ever been involved with, do require these very high precise uh, map structures for, for, for autonomy. So um, yeah, and um, we are very, very glad, of course, uh, to be able to be part of this test region. And uh, we are happy to contribute um, to the test region and uh, provide the map data for that. That's, I think it's a, a good message from Karlsruhe in the technology region. I'm very glad as an economic uh, of, uh, officer that uh, partners like the uh, Research Center for Information Technology or uh, an automotive engineering network, uh, they invite and uh, uh, they, they implement the new ideas of our young companies coming from an KIT or the other research institutions. So we have now left seven minutes. Last question on this round <laughs> table, but perhaps and then open for question from the audience. We are glad to have here, I think, 150, 160 participants here. Very welcome here to the innovation stage. Um, if you, Mr. Z Z uh, Professor Zellner, can um, turn to them with a message, a message related, of course, to our topics of automotive driving, uh, perhaps to an innovation or what else. So please let us hear and uh, that's the question we all will answer. Uh, what Henning already said, um, we see some dramatic changes in the mobility. We have uh, immobility. If we want to, to keep, um, to realize the climatic goals, then we need to have in at least 10 years electric cars, most of the cars have to be electric cars. Five years later, uh, we need regulations um, to allow only electric cars on the streets, something around this. On the other side, we see the history of autonomous driving is a very old one. It's nearly as old as, this vision is as old as the car itself. In 1925, we had first, first cars driving on the streets. Of course, they were teleoperated. The American wonder, but that's how old the vision is. All this will become reality, and it will become reality in the next years. So we're, we're thinking about 
10 to 15 years and autonomous driving is reality. We have to think now about what does that mean. Everybody can contribute. There is still a lot of, of, of work to do. Everybody can contribute with, might it be a small piece of technology, a sensor or something like that, or with new application based on these autonomous cars. And uh, when thinking about new application, this can be different application in the public transportation sector, in the private transportation sector, in the, in the logistics and so on. So this is a big chance for everybody who has a good idea. Um, and you're all welcome to think about this and to address on the one side the research and on the other side uh, regions like this, like our region, like the test region, what we can set up in order to support new companies, new ideas, to test their solutions, to bring their solution into a product. That's my message. You're all welcome to get in contact with us. So, thank you. So, it's now then up to you. Uh, Mr. Epple, the automotive engineering yes. network point of view to, this, uh, to the audience or the vision or you will share? Okay, I, uh, this is quite, quite the same, but you don't have to look at the car, uh, only the car. You have to look to the whole ecosystem. Okay, so there's much more than engineering with a car with sensors or something like this. It is, uh, um, it is a complex problem, a real complex problem. There will, we need complex solutions, only complex solution can solve complex problems. So what we need is support from different kind of companies, IT companies, everything, infrastructure companies, to look that we have a, connect, a connection between red traffic lights and the cars, and, and so on and so on. So we need communication and, 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 and. Uh, What we want to do is this, what I call these small steps, this uh, small innovation, which brings us further, and we can test it in our region. This is what we have. This is what we can bring it to you. We can test it in our region. So this is what, what I say. Okay. okay. In that case, I think uh, the a role of a city like the city of Karlsruhe as a, with a mindset of a smarter city. So uh, I think we have even uh, implement, uh, to, to implement uh, our experts, but we need at least uh, the interface with companies like uh, uh, Atlatec. So, your point of view. Two minutes left. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I think uh, we can all be very glad here in Germany and here in Baden-Württemberg and now in particular here in Karlsruhe to have that test region because this is a great place and a great project to join forces of different institutes, different large player, uh, players in the field, like all the big ones here in Baden-Württemberg, also small startups like ours. Uh, can all work together and uh, really make a difference because I think it will, you know, it will make a difference in my opinion and uh, let there be no doubt. I mean, there are, there are new, new, let's say, new market players uh, entering the market now um, which come from a different background. So I'm really happy that here we are giving the chance to really join forces and, and, and solve those challenges which are ahead of us. And yeah, I think we can all stay tuned and... Uh, um, be interested in what's coming up. I think it will be wildly exciting. So, so as we we tried to um, to communicate to you that uh, I think there's a real openness. I think we communicated to you that even in Karlsruhe there is a lot of expertise and know-how in that field. But at least we need other partners' know-how, even from the international side or other companies who join that. So. Be ready to meet these people. Uh, I have left one minute. So is there a question from the audience, perhaps, to the podium? If not, we are still real cut in time. Yes, Thank I have a message. Oh, another message. Another message? Okay. Um, you, you know, we, we want to grow. So I, I close now the door and you, are, you are only can out, come out of the room if you join the IN. Okay? So <laughs> this, is, this is what we have to do. Okay? So, so what we want to do is to, get, to, do, to go to the people, to all the companies, to the people. So thank you very much. <laughs>